Masking can be really difficult and some of the times what you want is a really thin line. So I'm doing an experiment I saw on Pinterest. A lady did a spider web by masking it. So I have some new stuff here. This is PBO drawing gum. It looks really, really thin. It's kind of a blue color. And I've got a teeny little brush. So I'm going to divide this spider web into quadrants and do one quarter with each kind of masking fluid and see what happens. Okay. So because it's got a color that does help you know, but I don't know if it's any finer than anything else that I've used. And I would imagine that it's going to be the size of the brush that's going to dictate how thick or thin this is going to be. Okay, the next masking fluid that I'm going to use is Fine Line. And this comes with a very fine tip. So it's got a top with a pin in it that goes inside here to keep that from clogging. And what's interesting with this one is they don't want you to squeeze, which is really hard not to do. But you can see how small this is. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze because I can't start up help to start it moving. You see how easy this is to apply? compared to the brush. This guy is great. It has a light blue color to it too. So I am applying a little teeny bit of pressure, but not much, just to keep it flowing. Okay, let's not put any pressure on. Yeah, you need a little bit. Keep it moving. Okay, so so far this is way less work than it was with the gum because you don't have to go back and forth and dip in to get more masking fluid. Okay, so when you're done using the fine line, and that took me no time at all, you want to be sure to put the needle that's in the cap back in there so that it's not clogged up for next time you want to use it. And that screws on tight, so that keeps that in that position too. So really impressed with that guy. Okay, so here's something else that I saw on the net. Is to actually take a hypodermic needle and take the blending solution up into that and then use that to control it. So I'm going to try it with a little bit of this PBO. I'm going to suck some of that up into the needle. But I'll try using that, the pressure. Whoa, okay. So I can see the gauge in the needle that is really messy. So the gauge of the needle is going to dictate how big this is going to be. Yeah, it's a whole lot faster than using a brush, but it's way thicker than using a brush. Oh, and I got masking fluid all over the place. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the brush, because what I usually use is this um, Graphics Incredible White Mask. And I've got my brush coated in soap. So the issue here with this is 
it's, it's white, so it's not as easy to see as when you've got some colorant in there. I've been asked, can you add a colorant so that you can see it? And I don't know, I'd have to look that up. So this um, incredible white seems to be about the same thickness as the PBO, but it's harder to see because you can see through it because it's white. Looking back at it, it's kind of neat. This, with the fine line, turned a nice green color. Here's the PBO. Here's the PBO out of the, the hypodermic needle. That didn't work at all. With this one, I really have to get down low to try to see where I put it on and where I haven't put it on. And if you're masking, you're paying a lot of attention to details. And you don't want to miss something. Okay, I'm going to do the next little section here in some Dalarani. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, um, that I picked up at Walmart. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this one is Dalarani. And it's about eight dollars for two and a half ounces, and you can see it's really, really thick. But I've got the same brush all soaked up, and this does have a yellow tint to it. So what I notice here is it's a little bit harder to get a consistent line. It's the same thickness. Now, I don't know if I've just let it get thick, but this is what it does. If you're doing something big, this is fine. But all these fine little lines in the spider web, I don't think this is going to look so good. So there must be something you can put in this to thin it so it's not so thick and goopy. Let that all dry. It looks like this is going to be my factor of where it's the wettest it's going to take the longest. But I'm going to leave it alone for a half an hour before I come in here and paint on top of it.